how you doing? I don't know what happened, but uh, my phone went berserk -oids, so I'm just, and I only got a few more pages left. I was 20 minutes in, I'm not starting over. So this will be supplemental. So this is the Martian Manhunter, character of I've Always Liked by Luke McDonald, Larry Mouse, just, just good, good solid team. Um, he, he, you know, he blessed survivor of Mars, came to Earth, and he has shape-changing powers. He basically has, like, every superpower, you know, super strong he can stretch he can turn invisible he's telepathic he's got like heat vision excuse me he's invulnerable he could turn like immaterial he's got like every power he's probably the most powerful superhero if you ask me in dc comics he shape changes which brings me to the question is he naked because when he shape changes his clothes changes with him so is is this cape just part of his flesh that he shape changed you know is he is he just walking around naked all the time you know I don't know. His weakness is fire. And I always thought that was hokey until I forget what writer it was, but they talked about like Mars has that carbon dioxide atmosphere. So fire wouldn't exist on, on Mars. So he, 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 his people would have evolved with no like resistance to fire. So it's like it captivates them and then burns them to death. So I, that kind of makes sense. I, I, I do. I do like the Marsha Band Hunter. Martin Champion. He's got like an Atari logo on him. So James Fry and Ricardo. So, oh, Atari Force. Comic I know nothing about. I, I don't have any Atari Force comics in, in my collection at all. I, I don't know if I should fix that. It doesn't look like something that appeals to me. And this is something that appeals to me. I love the Marvel family. The Marvel family. This is by Kurt Schlaffenberger. I love the Marvel family. I don't care how hokey it is. It's, I just love them. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. You know, he's not. his name is not Shazam. His name is Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel Jr. Fat Marvel. Hillbilly Marvel. Boo, boo, boo. Hoppy the Marvel Bunny. Mary Marvel. Tall Marvel. And Uncle Marvel. I, I, I just think they're great. You know, Billy Batson says the magic word. Becomes his own big brother. Just just cool. Super powerful. I, there's Mary Marvel. This is by Bob Oscar. I do that right away. Bob Oscar draws girls that are just so cute. I don't know what it is, but they, they just look so wholesome and cute. It's funny because uh, my mother told me that when she was a little girl, she used to play Mar Mary Marvel, and she would get mad when people didn't call her Mary Marvel. Marvel and her name's not even Mary, so that was like her thing, to be Mary Marvel. And my, my mom kind of looked like Mary, the, not this version, but he, she kind of looked like the original version of Mary Marvel. So I could see her as a little girl, people like, you look like Mary Marvel, and that became her, her thing. Uh Yep, uh, Captain Marvel Adventures number 18. Yep, so she's a female version of, of, of Billy Batson, Captain Marvel, and she, that's his sister. There you go. The Master Jailer. Oh, jeez, that is awful. I don't know anything about this character. So Superman 331 by Rick Leonardi and Rick Mager. I, I've said this a million times. Superman has the worst, the worst rogues gallery. Superman's the greatest superhero of all time, and he has the worst supervillain. Superman is like the, uh, the exception that proves the rule that you, you know he's like a, a villain is only as good, a, a hero is only as good as its villains. Well, Superman's better than his villains. These, these guys just stink. You know, Lex Luthor, Dark Side, and, and and what Mogul, Doomsday are the only ones that people could think of. The Masters of Disaster. So there's that Fire Girl. What's what's her name? Heatstroke. Oh, that's a gold name. Cold Sap, that's a cold name. New Wave, all right. Shakedown, all right, that's okay. And Windfall is Alan Davis. Yep, I, I recognize Alan Davis. He has, a, he has a thing about the spacing between the eyes that I just recognize. <laughs> so the Masters of Disasters, what do they fight? I don't even remember. Batman and the Outside, that's right, that's right. This is an Alan Davis, I mean, uh, Mike W. Barr creation. The Masters of Disaster. He, he was big on, on like, kind of hokey names like that but i i, I kind of like them as as a, as a villains they, they work here are some covers look at that warlord cover awesome green lantern this this is my era of, of dc comics this is when i was getting everything except for tari force <laughs> so there you go supplemental four uh four minutes and a half, four and a half minutes of this uh, i got nothing else to, to say nothing else to report other than uh I am going to do my first Sunday comics on, on, on Sunday. So for those of you who missed my other videos or they don't watch every video, I, I was interviewed by RJ from The Fourth Age. Great guy, great channel. Guy knows his comic books. Guy knows more than anybody. He know, <laughs> he's just a smart guy. And uh, we had, I had a fun talk and it made me think, you know what? You know, I, I created this channel to talk to people. So RJ's talk, I was so much fun. I wish we had like another 
10 hours to talk about comic books. I could, I could have sat there all day long and talked to him, but alas, life gets in the way. So, uh, I was like, I, I kind of like talking to people. So I want to do Sunday comics. So I'm going to wait. So there's going to be no set time. So this might be an, uh, a complete failure, but I'm going to Sundays. I, I, I wake up at four o'clock in the morning, Eastern standard time. You know, that's where I live. I, li I, I live in New York. And so I'm going to be waking up early, not that early, but like, I don't know, eight, nine o'clock on Sundays. And I'm going to make myself a coffee. I'm going to get some comics. And I always just sit here and read because my wife, she gets one day a week to, to sleep in. She likes to sleep in on Sundays. So I'm just going to come downstairs in the basement where I am right now and just drink some coffee and talk about comics. And I'll turn on the, the live chat. Sooner or later, I'll figure out how to send out invitations. Maybe somebody will help me with that. And maybe we'll have other people who will talk about comics. How about that? And I'll do it for whatever. The only thing is I, I got to be somewhere at noon. So I, around 11 o'clock, I got to get cleaned up and, and, and go. I run a board game group. So it, it won't be too long. I, I, I can't see it being too long, especially at the beginning, because I, I can't imagine anybody even participating. So it just might be a longer version of me doing my regular videos until if it catches on. All right. So thanks a lot. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. To, um, and uh, nothing else to report. See you. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate everybody. It's so much fun. Um, I all the requests. I did all the requests, and I do and I do enjoy the requests because I, I I've been rewatching my uh, Web of Spider Man twenty and my uh, my my Brad Pack videos. I those were both requests, and I thought they they turned out to be great comics. I thought I had a lot of cool things to say, you know. Sometimes when I pick the comics, I'm just like, I like this. I like this. I, I, I don't know what to say, but I like this. But those comics, they were both political. They had they they, they brought up a lot of things for me to say. And the, and the comment section was really lit up with, with good comments. So thanks a lot. So please request comics. It, it You know, it, it turns out to be a lot of fun. All right. I'll see you. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day, everybody. Bye-bye.